Hey everybody, do you love Dream Daddy? Heck sure I do. I'm surrounded by standees. If you want to come to a Dream Daddy event, May 30th at Dynasty Typewriter, that's really soon. Uh, you should come down. It's, it's going to be really fun. It's a live event. It's very chill. We're going to do some fun stuff. It's going to be hosted by me, and it's going to be featuring the Dream Daddy team. We're going to talk about development. We're going to have some fun activities. We're going to have a best dad contest. So come in your best dad gear. You're going to be competing against real life dads. And then we're also selling the uh, trade paperback copy of the Dream Daddy comic book. And we can sign it for you if you want, if you come on down. So come on down. It's going to be a fun time. May 30th. Link in the description below. Get your tickets now. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Oh, welcome back. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> to Game Grumps. Oh, Bill Boy. Still there? Uh-oh, time to scram! I look forward to tangling with you tomorrow, Miss May! <laughs> In court! <laughs> Wait, why was there a screwdriver sticking out of the drawer? I don't know, it just draws your eye. Yeah, I, that's right. That's the only reason, yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. Are I, you saying she used it as a... <sighs> sexual paraphernalia? No, what are you talking about? Like, was the drawer broken, or like, was it wedged, or like... I literally just think it was... Yeah, to just catch, to, to catch your eye. Yeah. Cool. September 7th, 2001. Ooh, Edgeworth. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. You want to be Edgeworth? Uh, no, you should, you should be that guy, because oh, okay. I got enough dudes. Your prosecution is ready, Your Honor. He is handsome. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. I've got plenty of DeviantArt fan art for the- <laughs> Thank you, you Oh, all. I'm sure there's a ton of it. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. Why is he wearing, like, an 18th century ascot, or whatever you'd call that? My dad got it for me. Okay, well. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call f our first witness, Your Honor, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. This is where the penis was. <laughs> <laughs> the body was found here. Detached and flaccid. <laughs> and huge. Look at, it, look at it. Look at it in comparison to the chair. <laughs> the body was found here by the window. And the cause of death? Loss of blood doing, due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. This judge has to be like, what the fuck is going on with these statues? <laughs> it was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, sir. That's very misogynistic, you say. <laughs> the court accepts the statue as evidence. And accepts that all women have tiny, tiny hands. <laughs> They're still calling it a statue. And still perceiving women to be weak. <laughs> this is not a very woke courtroom. <laughs> now, detective. Yes, sir? You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Well, you remember the giant detachable penis that was on the ground? No, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> Witness t t t testimony. <coughs> as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Mr. Phoenix Wright must have been totally innocent, because why not? Yeah. Why? We had a witness account describing her. 
The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. As someone who was there, weirdly at the scene of the murder, the moment it happened. <laughs> y yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination what? Cross-examine what? Couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. Oh, shit. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What the fuck are you doing? What's You're this? killing us all. When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It works lots of times. <laughs> I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor, I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Cross-examination. <laughs> as soon as a phone call- Oh, wait. You- we already did this. Sorry. I'm gonna start pressing him on every turn. Wh who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay, I pressed. Not sure if it did much, though. Right, please continue. There were two people there already. Okay. I'm gonna press that fucker. Whoops. Ow! Are you absolutely sure it was us? Yeah, what? <laughs> Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With a funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like... like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point about her. She is but pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. I don't have spiky hair, do I? <laughs> Let's see. Get a witness account describing her. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's see if that's right. Hold on just one second. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did... did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly what about this suspicious woman in pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious and she sure isn't pink, pal! Ah, uh, she's pretty pink. She's a little pink. Yeah, yeah. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um... Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. <laughs> I love pressing. <laughs> yes! Oh. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. I'm gonna lie some more. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do. I mean, tell the truth. After securing the uh, <laughs> suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. It definitely doesn't say Maxo. <laughs> Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Ah! Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Whoa. <laughs> How you like that? That's my hard evidence. <laughs> and you know I like it hard. <coughs> uh, yeah. Hmm, that is pretty hard and satisfying. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor? Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of inf- ev 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 <laughs> That's a great question! <laughs> uh, uh, I know! I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin a cross-examination. If you're not more careful, I will headbutt you, and I- I promise you, this dome is like a bowling ball. I know what to press. What is it? Before she died, the victims wrote the killer's name. Oh yeah, didn't it say death was instantaneous? Yeah. Yes! Hell yeah. Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. That's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? 
Mm. The murderer, you stupid bastard. You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow of a- from a blunt object. She died immediately! <laughs> but- <laughs> No butting your way out of this one, detective! <laughs> order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Ooh. Oh shit. Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? This morning, when I wrote it! <laughs> uh, when? Uh, ooh. It was the day of the murder, right? No, it was the day after. Yes. Day after. Right? I think? Yes, it was the day after. Okay. Because I came in and then talked to him. Right. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... <laughs> My finger points. That autopsy report <laughs> is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy re a second <laughs> autopsy report was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. Nah. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Your Honor, my hand is quite big. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. Now that I think about it, it might be forced perspective. <laughs> My hand might not really be that big. Damn you, Edgeworth! Damn you and your giant, giant hands! hands. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. <laughs> Whatever, I'm fucking amazing! <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say. You're a sham. I'm a sham. <laughs> the detective's a sham. Yeah, detective's a sham. Yeah, like, why would he release a second autopsy report? Ow! Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham! How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? I- I thought... Detective Gumshoe? Erp! I'm disappointed in you handing him the wrong report like that. Eh, uh, I- I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> you are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month, tap tap. <laughs> what? But, sigh. Your honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. It's pretty sure that's not how it works, but it's fine. Yeah, I mean, uh... Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Not circumstantial at all. Darn! This isn't good. <laughs> the prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Maya? Not somebody else's eyes! Let the witness Miss April May take the stand. Exactly, what part of her is innocent? And I guess we'll interrogate Miss May next time on Game Grumps. We're gonna ask her hard-hitting questions like, what her name is. And what's her favorite two months? <laughs> and we're gonna use aggressive language like, please. And, uh, if you please. <laughs> Ever, 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 ever,